space between me and the door. And I want to like mm -hmm. document that this space exists. Thank you for standing up for your constitutional rights. Oh, thank you, sir. Glad other people are recognizing that. They can't be telling us what we can and cannot do. That's our rights out here. Well, if I knew you better, I'd treat you to a haircut. But anyway, <laughs> go out there and take so, their pictures sorry. all day long. This is authority. Yeah, well, oh, allegedly. Would you have them send out some swastika armbands so you can get it to them? Huh? It would make their day, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure they don't see themselves that way. But. Well, I do when they pick up people and put them in jail for nothing. Yeah. Well, Intimidation—that's what it is all about. I think it says everything that they're afraid of people documenting what they're doing. Like if they're doing something in everyone's name and it's a public service, then why can't people see what it is? Why is it that at the door they're trying to stop us? Sure. Did he ask you not to videotape inside? Am I inside the building? Mike. Can you know he's still videotaping after you have? All right. I have a right to videotape out here. Are you challenging my First Amendment rights? No one's challenging any First Amendment rights. So relax. You can't videotape inside the courthouse, that's all. Okay? I never went inside the courthouse. Okay, you can't stand outside and videotape inside the courthouse, okay? So, is this illegal right now? What I'm doing right now, are you claiming that's illegal? Why are you doing that? You're challenging me, I'm not bothering you people. I didn't go up to you and start telling you you're doing something wrong. You came up to me and told me I'm doing something wrong. So what am I doing wrong? Explain it to me. That's right, nothing. I'm doing nothing wrong. Alright, well anyway, have a nice day. Listen, I'm gonna take you down to the barber shop and get him a haircut, and he's gonna feel better. Okay. Let's so even go. though I'm, I'm sure I have a right to film up there, I'm a, I am a little intimidated of even going back up on this platform because of how these people act. But I'm gonna occupy this space. I'm, I don't know how many squares from the door, but. So you're gonna have to. Got two angles running for my own protection. So anyway, let's take it. Is this illegal right now? And in the movies, they always tell everybody all the time people run into their shops and the hotel and they're hiding behind the windows like this. Those people were off your horse and let them move in the streets. At least he knows his rights. They expect people not to know their rights. Oh, he's well, like intimidated. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not carrying an AR-15. So the man inside who instructed you to give unlawful orders, is that a U.S. Marshal? That would make him a public servant, and I'm curious as a member of the public what his name would be. You have to ask him. Hmm. It just concerns me because people that wear badges and come out and give orders, it's almost as though they're, there's an inherent threat in everything that they do. And uh, supposedly they're doing a public service, like this guy that was arrested, I don't know him. I don't really know much about him at all, but I know it's strange that somebody kidnaps somebody and then hides them and then doesn't allow people to see them, doesn't allow there to be cameras nearby where they are. If it's a public proceeding, why aren't there cameras allowed in? Why, why is it that there is hidden information if it's in the name of the public? And as much as I disagree with the state courts, you're at least allowed to film inside of the state courts. Why is the federal government so secretive? I just went by the Doge seems to be in that car and I'm gonna walk away from it because well there are a number of things that have just occurred that I'm gonna turn off my backup for now there are a number of things that just occurred 